Hello Cancer, we're going to look into your tarot cards today, which is the Tarot of White Cats deck. And I am Tanya and I will do your tarot reading for December 2022 today. Now let's see what's coming up for you, Cancer. What's coming up for Cancer? Coming up for Cancer. Ooh, almost, and there we go. First card out. Wow, this is the knight of cups the knight of cups is a perfect card for you my dear cancer because it is a water card so your energy is coming through in the reading very strongly also with this knight of cups it is possible that somebody will offer you uh, the cup of love so maybe if you're searching for a partner and then there will be people who are actually interested in you who say hey i want to go on a date with you i want to go you know to the movies with you whatever there could be somebody who is actually seeming quite perfect to you because they are very generous and sweet and loving and kind and the thing is you have to decide is that energy too immature for me or is that the right person for me because this is not a king i mean a king is somebody who is very very mature this is a knight so a knight is a little bit of a younger energy okay not childish or infantile but um let's say also not mature in the sense of somebody who is you know 45 and older so this is kind of a, a sweet loving energy somebody who really wants to woo you who says let's go on a picnic if you're living on the southern hemisphere or if you live on the northern hemisphere it's probably quite cold they're gonna say let's go for an eggnog or i don't know what <laughs> so this person is really sweet and they're coming to you know um offer you love yeah what else for a beautiful Cancer in December? What else is coming up for Cancer in December? I can also feel that you're going to take care very much of your, um, the way you look. Okay, so maybe in December you're going to decide to um, really think about what do I eat? How often do I go to the gym? Will I take an aerobic class or a yoga class? Um, how do I do my hair? How will I do the makeup? Which colors will I wear concerning the clothing? So you're going to be very much in, in your head and thinking about how do I, how, what message do I convey with the way I look and the way I dress and the way I wear my hair? So it's definitely a month for you where you think about your physique, your, your everything physical, yeah? And that's nothing bad. That's that's not bad or judgmental. It's it's like it's just that you think about it. And that's good. What else for cancer? For cancer, please. December 2022 for cancer. Thank you. We've got two cards. Interestingly, we've got the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Cups. So with the Knight of Swords, somebody else is coming in. I told you before that with this Knight here, somebody's coming in to offer you love. And this here, this is the opponent, the other person who also wants to be with you. So definitely you've got more, more than one choice concerning uh, searching for a partner. So this is another person coming in and this person could be a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius because they have a sword. So the sword is standing for the air signs and this person is very intelligent very very eloquent they always know what to say they always have the right words in every situation they're very smart witty these people are oftentimes in in a yeah in a role where they have to find out the truth so maybe sometimes it can be a firefighter who finds out where did the fire actually start and how it could be a policeman who finds out where did this and that come from it could be a judge it could be anyone who deals with words so maybe an author or an anchor man or you know an everything that has to do with words maybe they're even a teacher because they have to speak a lot for their words so they are very much about everything verbal you know and also written so uh, maybe they write essays maybe they write um, I don't know articles in scientific journals it doesn't matter but this person is very smart and they are coming in really fast so they they don't want to lose any time 
they're about the same age as the other person, but still they are a little bit more under pressure. So maybe you feel a little bit overwhelmed by how they appear in your life because they are like, okay, um, let's move in together in two months and then get married in six months and then have children in a year. So they're like, woo, <laughs> very, very fast and very much in their mind. So they are constantly thinking about, you know, a future together. So you have to decide which one is the best for you. But anyways, what I see is that a real wish is coming true because this is the Nine of Cups. This is one of the best cards that you can have concerning the uh, Minor Arcana because this is a card of wish fulfillment. So this means that one of your wishes that you had in your heart, an emotional wish, will come true and it will make you very satisfied and very happy. So either this is the partner showing up in your life, finally, that you have been waiting for, or it is your partner doing something that you have been waiting for. For example, let's say you've been in a relationship for three or four years and you're waiting for your partner to propose, then this is the time when he probably will do it. So it's very possible that in December they could decide to either move in with you or have children or get married and propose or whatever. So this is like somebody who wants to deepen the connection with you if you already have a partner. It could also be that this wish is something that you had in your heart and it doesn't have anything to do with relationships. This could also be a wish coming true. Like for example, you've been dreaming of your perfect car and in December it finally shows up. It's the perfect model, it's the perfect price and it's available right now. So it, it's your time to actually just grab it. So this is a real wish fulfillment that makes you super, super happy. And then you can just enjoy, you know, just enjoy beautiful. And besides, this is the second card that comes out in your reading that has to do with cups. So the cups, your energy, the water energy is very present in your reading. So this is also supporting you on your journey. What else for our beautiful Cancer in December 2022? Cancer 2022. You're gonna rest a bit in December. I can see that you're gonna rest. You're gonna have, you know, a good night's sleep and stay on the couch and really snuggle up with a cup of tea. It's gonna be like, oh, you're gonna enjoy that very much. Ooh, <laughs> anything else for cancer? Anything else for cancer, please? What's coming up for cancer in December 2002? Can we have maybe one last card? for cancer thank you okay we've got the death card so some of you guys are going through a transformational phase in your life these this card um is about endings and new beginnings so maybe you end your work life as an employee and you start your retirement or you end your life as a single and you start your marriage or you end your life being home alone and you suddenly have a child in your life that, uh, you know, it's like big, big changes, which we all can go through. So it's nothing bad at all. It's just that change is always, you know, uh, how do we say that? It's rattling on our lives. It's, it's rattling on our roots. It's like, you know, we feel a little bit uprooted and a bit up in the air because normally between the ending and the new beginning, there is a limbo phase. And during this limbo phase, we feel we have the feet up in the air and we don't have much grounding and we don't know exactly where everything will go and how everything will fit to our lifestyle and if we are going to get used to the new kind of life. So it's like, you know, this phase where you just have to find your perfect way through it but it's not negative at all it's just maybe giving you a tiny little bit maybe two percent of anxiety yeah because it's normal when things are changing that we feel a little bit of anxiety but it's nothing bad at all so this is your messages for december 2022 please subscribe to the channel if you like this reading um subscribing to the channel is of course absolutely free for you and you can choose whether you get notifications or not by hitting the bell and then when you hit the bell you can see either um, some notifications no notifications at all or person personalized notifications so it's like um, yes or no you can choose <laughs> So because some people are telling me, Tanya, I'm afraid if, if I hit the bell, I will get a ton of notifications a day. No, <laughs> that's just natural that you don't get that because I don't post a ton of videos every day. 
<laughs> so yeah, um, subscribe, like this video, leave a comment about how you will celebrate Christmas this year and I wish you a beautiful Christmas and New Year's Eve and also watch my yearly reading because the yearly readings are already out for 2023 and bye bye.